Hey guys, I wanted to do a quick little video here. I've been out in the shop last couple weeks just forging away and uh, I was at a garage sale and I picked up um, actually only one thing that I can remember. Actually, I picked up two things, but I can't remember what the second thing was. But anyways, the one thing I wanted to show you guys that I did pick up was I picked up and I've already kind of cleaned it up a little bit or started cleaning it up but I picked up this and um, I'm kind of looking for some video responses on this because I, I'm curious uh, I posted on on Facebook and everybody on Facebook seems to think that this was an old Maddox and it does look like an old Maddox and it very well could be although there's some characteristics to this thing that I've never really seen on a Maddox, and that is that it had it's set up for a double bit axe head. And I've never had a Maddox, I've never seen a Maddox that was set up like that. Um, if anybody knows anything about this, it's got no name on it at all. It looks like it was all hand forged. It looks like it's pretty old, but I'm looking for some responses on what we should do with this. Um, my thoughts were I was going to uh, go ahead and turn this into an ads, which it already is, but I was going to sharpen it up and just leave it as an ads and then turn this into an axe. Put about a 15 or 16 inch handle on it and use it for a carving axe or timber framing type tool, you know, type of thing. But, uh, you know, and then another part of me said, put it through the forge. Flatten this out a little bit more, curve it, make a bull carving as out of it. But uh, if this is an old tool, I really hate to uh, hate to hurt it by doing that or deform it by doing that. When I can, especially when I can uh, just buy an old pick hammer or something and make a, a an ads out of it or something like that. So I want everybody who sees this to leave a comment saying what I should do with it and what they think it really is because I'm still questioning whether or not this is an actual Maddox because it just seems like I mean it's so small and you know it weighs almost nothing and I don't know maybe it is maybe uh, maybe they did make them with axe handles and axe eyes and stuff and, and I just have never seen one before but I'm almost wondering if this was some kind of old time timber framing carpenter type tool and uh, I'm also wondering what kind of steel it is because if it's good steel then you know I may make a hatchet slash ads out of it and uh, just use it like that it would make a great little carving type thing um, I don't know but anyways that's the first thing I wanted to show you guys uh, let me know what you guys all think um, whenever I get the side and it, there's no time limit on it but whenever I decide that I've got enough ideas or whatever I'll do a video and I will just we'll just do something with this um, this is gonna be a project video but uh, oh and by the way at the flea market one dollar I paid for this so uh, you know we're gonna have fun with it we're gonna do something with it but anyways okay and then another thing I wanted to show you guys was um, I've got my uh, Etsy store and my website pretty much stocked. Most of the stuff is going towards the Etsy store because it seems to be doing better. Um, the Etsy store, is the name of it is Primitive Hunter. If you uh, punch in Primitive Hunter in the store part, it should, bring, it should pop you up. And I've got it fully stocked now. Um, it's stocked with everything that I have up to date made. Um, other than a few things that I'm working on now that I have not even showed you guys yet. Uh, the only thing that it is not fully stocked with are my one inch bowl carving or spoon carving type chisels. And um, I'm actually working on those tonight. So uh, it'll those will be in there in a uh, couple of days. I have only one three quarter inch one in there right now but i'm working on those two um and i've just finally finished up a batch of inch and three eighths ones and uh this one's going to get 
well, they'll all get sharpened, but and handled, and then uh, um, I'll go ahead and put them in there too. But uh, so uh, right now, everything's in there except for this and and this. This one will be going in pretty soon, and then uh, everything else is in there. Makatagan, I'm I'm out of Makatagans right now, except for the three I'm working on, and there's one left on my website at primitivehunter.net. Um, so if you're looking in in the in the looking for a Makatagan, it, it's on that that website. But anyways, I, I just wanted to go over that real quick. I know I'm I'm. I'm not really trying to turn this into a face into a YouTube selling channel, but um, right now works slow, and the blacksmithing is the only thing that's bringing money into the family. So I got to do this. So sorry, guys, if you guys, if it kind of pees people off. But, but anyways, so anyways, leave me some comments on this. This is gonna be the new project. Um, I'm still editing the buckskinning videos. Uh, had a little problem with that. In fact, I'll tell you guys right now, it's kind of funny. Um, the day I did all the all the buck skinning videos on how to tan a hide, brain tan a hide, I was wearing droopy pants. Unfortunately, when I was tying up the hide, I didn't realize it, but when my back was turned turned towards the camera, you guys would have gotten to see something that you really didn't want to. So, uh, anyways, I, I'm trying to edit all that out so you guys don't have to see my ass crack. The whole time but anyways so a couple more days and i'll start putting them on and sorry about the kids if you watch that i didn't mean to swear on there but it was kind of funny i didn't realize my pants were drooping like that and by the time i got done with the videos i went in the house and i punched them up on the computer and i'm going through them and my my fiance is looking at it going i can't believe you taped that and it, it was kind of funny we both laughed about it and now I'm trying to edit all that out. So anyway, sorry about the wait for the uh, brain tanning videos. But uh, anyways, so um, this, this is already longer than I wanted it to be. But uh, yeah, go ahead and uh, comment on this video. Uh, I want some ideas as to what this might be and also ideas as to what we should do with this. Um, carving related. I'm not gonna like cut this off and turn it into a tomahawk or nothing like that. I want to try to keep it all in one piece whether we uh, curve this or not I don't know but you know give me some ideas um, then I'll just kind of toss it around but uh, anyways I'm not gonna go any farther on this until I do get ideas and then we'll finish cleaning it up I'm not gonna take it to a polished finish because I never do that anyways I like that rough forged look so it is what it is and uh, you now let me know let me know what you guys think Anyways, so I just wanted to say thank you, like, subscribe, and share, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.